Hello everyone. I just wanted to uh, give you all a view of the last small array that I just built. Um, not quite finished, but um, out of Unistrut. Um, so it is four panels uh, in series and then they're going to parallel. So this is eight total and they're 395 watt bifacials just like the other array I built as a roof. Um, this would be a little more simple. Uh, mostly bolt together. Um, I did buy some clips off Amazon for the bottom and top and the rest would just be washers um, uh, holding the center pieces. So pretty easy overall. Um, mostly bolt together and then um, a little bit of welding at the end for some cross braces. I'll bring you around the side here. Um, I haven't finished wiring yet or tidying up all the wire management, but uh, I'm sending everything into the um, shop. And then um, these two will be, these two different series will be tying into the inverters, the LV 6548s, uh, to give me another 3,000 uh, watts and change there. Um, so it should be a good amount of... Uh, Overall, I think we'll have 11,000, right around almost 12,000 watts uh, coming in. And this does get a lot more early morning sun. So it's going to really help uh, as we first start right around, well, almost as soon as the sun comes up, this will be getting it. The other one a little bit later on. So it's going to help with that uh, nighttime battery usage. Um, and uh, again, yeah, not not too complicated with this setup some people do it um i did portrait um ways for the panels in this just because um the way the sun swings it'll keep uh sun on each series a little longer um so even though these are split panel um split face panels so that helps also where they they divide the, the actual face so, you know, that way you're not um, suffering a, a major loss if half the panel is shaded. But in either case, this, this way seemed to work best uh, for me. And again, not too difficult. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube um, on how to construct this. Um, so yeah, this would be the last small array that I'm putting up. And then I have a bunch of wiring to do inside. And... Uh, will be mostly complete except for a couple tweaks and I still um, plan on doing a video on the uh, the AC side of things and the critical loads panel at the house uh, a little bit more of that too and then um, I know I needed to cover a little bit more of the DC side and how I have uh, different fuses and how I've installed all that but um, I'll get into that in the next couple videos it's just uh, been super busy lately, so I haven't posted. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.